Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. I'm Nick Park and uh, all this week I'm sharing messages recorded here in Amsterdam in the Netherlands where I'm attending a conference, the Everyone Conference uh, organised by Empowered 21, a movement that I'm privileged to be a part of. And uh, here in Amsterdam, it's difficult to be here without thinking of a pioneer figure in evangelism, and that is Floyd McClung. Uh, Floyd McClung uh, worked here with YWAM, Youth with a Mission, and uh, did an incredible work in Amsterdam, re releasing young people into evangelism, reaching out to the prostitutes in the red light district, uh, dealing with people that were ad addicted to drugs. He wrote a book called Living on the Devil's Doorstep, based about his experiences here in Amsterdam. Now, I never met Floyd McClung and, and Floyd went to be with the Lord uh, in 2021. But I did get to meet his father, Floyd McClung Sr. And the way that came about was I was preaching at a church in Tennessee. And uh, afterwards, this old guy came up to me. And at the time, we were just really starting off with Solid Rock Drogheda. You know, we, we still were a small church. We were, we were struggling. We were trying to pray in the finances just to pay the rent every week and to keep the church open. And there were all kinds of problems cropping up. And I was really sorely in need of encouragement uh, this Sunday. So I preached in this church in Tennessee. And this old guy comes up to me afterwards and he says, you're Nick Park. And, and, and I said, yeah. He said, I, I've got a photograph of you. Uh, and, and I said, really? He said, yeah, yeah. He said, the missions department from the Church of God, they sent out the photograph to some, some of us and asked us to pray for you. And he, he said, I'm, I'm praying for you. I, I, I pray for you every day. I said, that, that's, that's incredible. I, I said, uh, wow, I'm so glad you're praying for me every day. And I said, what's your name? And he said, Floyd McClung. And you could see the sort of confusion uh, because I'd, I knew who Floyd McClung was. I'd seen pictures of him and Floyd McClung was younger than this guy. He said, no, that's my son you're thinking of. He said, I, I'm, he's Floyd McClung Jr. I'm Floyd McClung Sr. And uh, I, I just want to say that it was just a word in season to know that here was somebody was praying for me every day. And he said that he'd put his uh, fo photograph up. He had it up on the wall. And every morning when he prayed, he would reach out his hand and he would touch my photograph. And, and he would say, Lord, I'm praying for Nick Park in Ireland. And I'm praying that you will bless the ministry that he's involved with. And I was just blown away to realize that this man was, was praying for us. This man who, who was himself a powerful man of God. And I've, I came to know other members of uh, his family, his nephew in particular, Grant McClung, who's also gone to be with the Lord now, was a great friend of, of mine. Um, but just to know that Floyd McClung Sr. was praying for me every day. There were times when I would be struggling. There would be times whenever I just was trying to keep on going. And just to know that this man was praying for me over there in Tennessee every day well, was a massive encouragement. And, uh, you know, prayer is so powerful and consistent prayer. Sometimes we say we'll pray for people and uh, we pray for them once or twice and then forget about it and it's out of sight, out of mind. But, but I would encourage you to pray consistently for people. Pray for pastors, pray for church planters, pray, pray for leaders, pray for missionaries. I can't tell you, I can't begin to tell you the power that there is in persistent, consistent prayer. You know, the Apostle James said uh, in, in his book, little book, James in the New Testament, and speaking about Elijah, the fervent, effectual prayer of a righteous man avails much. And I want to encourage you, be fervent, be persistent, be effectual in your prayers. And would you lift up Christian pioneers, Christian leaders, Christian evangelists, Christian church planters, and lift them up in prayer? Because you don't realize it, but you're making an incredible difference when you pray for people persistently and consistently in that way. God bless you today. Join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drahada.